the general idea that is very convincing and has been a long time in the making is basically the notion that we have to get more to a three-dimensional reality in the digital age because our visual perception has been trained for 375 million years, almost 400 million years to perceive depth and to perceive three-dimensional realities. Only for the last 500 years since the printing press have we looked at two-dimensional screens, let's say. We looked at books, we look at screens, and that's just a waste of our potential. We don't really feel immersed. Also, the idea to make it much more tactile, for example, and immerse ourselves, take advantage of, of our entire interface, not only of, of a very small part of it. And this idea has been long in the making and still is facing a lot of technological difficulties. So the main problems here have been for a long time, not that we don't have the vision and we don't understand the argument that it makes sense to have a three-dimensional immersive environment. The idea is that the problem is the technological challenges of the computational power and the bandwidth that even in the richest part of this world, we don't have enough. But the idea has been long in the making. So Neuromancer from William Gibson in the 1980s already you know, played around with these ideas. He coined the phrase, the matrix, which was later adapted to a movie series, uh, The Matrix Universe, and cyberspace, which he defined as a consensual hallucination experienced daily by billions of legitimate operators in every nation, a graphic representation of data. Lines of light ranged in the non-space of the mind, clusters and constellations of data. So yes, hanging out and let's call it the metaverse, you call it the cyberspace or the matrix, all similar terms. The term metaverse comes from another science fiction novel, Snow Crash from the 1990s, from Neil Stevenson, where his hero, hero or non-hero hero, hangs out for a long time in this imaginary place known as the metaverse. That's a word creation, a portmanteau of the meta, which is a supra abstract abstraction, supra abstraction of something of, in this case, of the universe. So it's a meta representation of the universe. So what's the definition of the metaverse? There is none and I have not found none and that's why I won't invent one. The best I could do is I, I looked around and I found 23 definitions for you. And the best I could do is to create a word cloud. So here you have it, that's the definition. But staring at it for quite some time, I was able to extract some common characteristics. So what did I find? Well, first of all, many say it's still somewhat futuristic. So there's all this sci-fi feel to it. It's new, it's the future, it's still early. It's, be, it's just all we know, it's beyond what there is right now. All right. It's a convergence of the digital and the physical world. So this digital twin idea seems to be very important. And the digital twin is the idea that you have these mirror worlds between the digital and the analog reality. It's immersive and generative. And that is probably the biggest one that we can see the biggest difference. So the immersive 3D environment and generative artificial intelligence obviously will play a big role in, in motivating the content of these environments. And it's persistent. And that has to do with the blockchain. We will talk more about that in another lecture, because the blockchain, if you want to migrate from one metaverse to the other metaverse, for example, you have something there, a digital good, and you want to transfer it, the blockchain basically makes it interoperable because it has this memory and time, for example, for, for property of having something. So that makes it persistence. The metaverse is not, the blockchain is not required for the metaverse. Same as generative AI is not required for the metaverse. Same as actually 3D must not be required. Just a 2D conference, you be hanging out in the metaverse right now. Welcome. <laughs> so these are just like, there are shades of gray there on how to define the metaverse. But I think that's kind of like fits the, the vision. And now the task is to socially construct it together. Technological change is always a story of social construction.